I don't know about you, but my home assistant menu is an absolute mess. It's just, it's just a mess. I'm okay with that. Home Assistant just released 0.86 and Lovelace is now the default UI for Home Assistant. Mine's still a mess. I have not gotten around to implementing almost any Lovelace. Lovelace has been in beta for, I don't know, eight months now. And I'm just, I'm just continuing to use the same old thing. It's just bubbles and charts and things. I'm actually, I'm fine with that. My entire house is, it's really, it's voice driven. There's, if I have to take out my phone and press a bunch of buttons to make stuff happen, that's really just not automation. It's remote control, but it's just not automation. So having that Lovelace interface, it's great and all. And actually there's some really cool things and I am gonna get to it but it's not high on my priority list. I really just want to have, uh, I need to finish a bunch of other automations. There's more gear I want to put in. The UI, it's just not high on my list. And it's really because voice is where it's at. I have echoes throughout the entire house. I can just say things, that's my voice override. And then ideally Home Assistant should be doing all of the automations on there on its own. So using presence detection, uh, we have sensors in the bed. So when we get up out of bed, when we wake up, when we go to sleep, the house should react accordingly that we shouldn't have to take out our phone. Now I will tell you this about Lovelace. I do want to build a Lovelace interface. That's definitely something I wanna do because I want it for mobile. When I'm out of the house, when I'm not near the Echo devices and I don't have voice control, I wanna quickly, I wanna quickly be able to pull up the Home Assistant app, see the Lovelace interface, specifically the glance cards is what I'm, uh, that's what I'm excited about. I wanna do some filtering. So I can quickly see what's on, turn things off, um, find, the, find the information I need, and that's it. Inside the house, we do have we do have two visual pieces. So we have uh, we have a tablet in the bedroom. We have a tablet in the in the hallway, and those two run floor plan. Floor plan is really all I need to just consume all the information of the house. I can look at it. I can see all the lights that are on, all the windows, doors, things like that, uh, if they're open or closed, and then and then. You know, just if I need to turn something off, I can turn something off or close the door or whatever, but it's really just to consume it. I, I don't ever really interact with the, the UI, with the tablet or with the phone inside the house. Inside the house, it is 100% voice. Voice first is the way, uh, well, automation first, right? So the house should just do the automations and then voice first. So 086.3 is out. It's still low on my priority list. I haven't done the upgrades because there was a bunch of breaking changes for me. So I'll probably make a video on how I fix those breaking changes. The time breaking change broke a lot of stuff. Um, ben is back. He released a great video. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna waste some time and go watch that again. I'll see you later.